Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Good, Lewis. Okay, let's get together here and take a look at these treasury bonds here over the last couple of weeks. You can see here that we've uh, started a cascade to the downside. If we look at this on the daily chart, get this up here. Oh, this is, happens to be the September. Well, we'll just move this over and just look at the September because there's where we completed you know, our ABCD patterns. We had multiple ABCD patterns up there. If you'll recall, I'll just draw these in because they're always fun to see. There was uh, one uh, right in here and then we had another one right here. And now we've gapped down. You can see this is really negative action, just like we've had over here, folks. Now we are coming in to some really serious support here because this is going back for several weeks. And you'll see here, we're setting almost exactly at this 116 level at the 61% retracement. With this move here, I would su suggest it would probably go lower. If we look at the low from back on the 28th of June, we'll get this up here and take a look at it. You'll see you're also paying attention to that low right here. So we got a double low setting in here. And as you all remember, that this is what they call a 135 pattern. That's what you're looking at. Now, the way you find out is if you take your little cycle tool and go from low to low, you'll see that's due to come in either today or tomorrow. So this is going to be a, this is going to be a really good uh, spot here to have some support here. But boy, folks, it can't get much below 115.16, or boy, it's going to go down a whole lot lower. So the key levels here are 115.29 and 115.24. We're about eight ticks away from that level. This is the problem, is this big move today. It doesn't show us a gap down, which it isn't, because it finished the gap here early this morning by one tick, and now it started to move to the downside. The key here, and I, I mean this very sincerely, is this level right here. You do not want this to get below this level right here, which is 115.24. So that's your risk. The buy would be at 115.29, and you have to risk eight ticks. So your stop would be at 115.21. I uh, And this is the problem. But see, it's coming down very quietly. I mean, it's not falling out of bed. Let's just look at this here on a little eight-minute chart. You'll see it's making new lows, but it's nothing spectacular to the downside. Here we had a little rally. We rallied over a point. Look, we've come down a point and a half from that level. So that's uh, that's what we're watching. Folks, in the newsletter that I sent out this week, I sent a charts. I'm going to bring these up because I think they're very important. These are the MAGA stocks that I look at. I don't know anything about stocks. I look at the pictures, and that's about it. But you'll see here, this is Microsoft. You can see we're completing the big ABCD up here at the 1.618 level. That's uh, pretty much spot on. If you take a next, I'm going to go through them and let you see all of them because we're really close. Now, here's NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA is actually down just a little bit today. All it was able to do here was rally up to the 50% level, and it was still drifting a little bit lower. Remember, these were the leaders. They are the leaders of the pack, but they've started to slow down. Now, here is Google. Look at this pattern here in Google, folks. We have a three drive to a top pattern up here at this 185 and change level, 180. 188, but that's that's a beautiful 135 pattern. Ah, I'll try that again, Larry. A three drive to a top, drive one, drive two, drive three. If it gets above that high up here, which would be 187, then yeah, it might go a little bit higher, but that's certainly completing a major top. If we take a look here at Apple, same thing now. Apple came down a little bit. Uh, today, it's reversed. We're back up around this 116 level, so should have a lot of resistance up here at this 222 level, 221. The high has been 220 so far, but that would be that 1.618 expansion, where so many of these are completing really interesting patterns that yeah, I think it's worth 
uh, paying attention to. Now, here's Meta, uh, Meta, same thing. You can see the same ABCD pattern. Now, it also has moved back up. It's trading up about uh, 10 bucks today at uh, 50, uh, 50, 514. But as long as we don't get above 524, this is a bearish pattern, as you can see. It has a perfect ABCD pattern lined up just like some of them do. And when you see them all together like that, it's sign of, uh, you know, pay attention. All right, let me get the uh, rest of these up here so we can take a look at them because they're all very important. Here's Tesla. Now, Tesla is doing pretty good. Now, Tesla has exceeded this on the upside. 201 was supposed to be it, and it's trading at 210 today. So it's already moving higher. So this one is already broken above the high. It's also substantially above the 3A2. So that's one that's acting uh, pretty nicely. And then we'll take another one up here. Take a look at it. This is uh, SMC. You'll see that it's it's down today, but it's not on the lows. It's trading at around uh, 828 or something like that. So it's still down, but it hit a 382 on Friday. Another one that looks uh, a little more bearish on the longer term chart. And then, of course, here is the Amazon. Same thing. Amazon is still bearish. It's still uh, it's up on the day a little bit, still in this same zone that we're looking at here. But this is a double ABCD pattern and uh, also appearing that it could be making, you know, a very important top up in here, at least a tradable top, as they say in the technical analysis journal. Now, here is uh, Avco Broadcom. Uh oh, come on, Larry, let's get this up here so everybody can see it. There it is right here. Now, look at this little quiet days in here, folks. And it's trading basically unchanged here on the day to day. But look at this. This comes down. And now for five days, it hasn't regained its oomph to the upside. Well, it could be like this. We don't know. But look at this big ABCD that's completed here in Broadcom also. Pretty much spot on. So these are the ones that I'm watching. I don't trade them, but I just wanted to see, you know, what the indexes, indices are looking like. Now, let's get back to the real market here. And I'll get this out of the way. And I wanted to show you the uh, Dow Jones, uh, not the Dow Jones, but the NASDAQ. And here's the NASDAQ right here today. We made a lower low today right at this level. You can see that. And we've had a nice rally. We're a little above the 382 retracement right in here, which would have been right about 1991. We're 10 points above that. And I don't know. We'll do it at 13 minutes to see if there's ABCD structure in here. And there it is right there. We do have ABCD. So let's see what ABCD will give to me. And we'll just draw this in and you folks can decide what you want to do with this. But there's your AB leg right there. There's your CD leg right here coming in at uh, just about, uh, well, it's, it, that comes in at 2002. We're trading at 2011. The high had been uh, 2026. So that is a completed uh, ABCD pattern. Okay, now let's move on to the next one which I think you're going to enjoy. And that is we're going to cover the grains when we come back uh, from the first break. But we've got another one that we had in the, the video that we sent out uh, early this morning, very early this morning, I might add. This is the hourly chart here on the uh, crude oil. And as you can see here, we are in the midst of making a big ABCD pattern at 83.54 at that spot right here. And if we take this, and look at it on the daily and when we talk about this we will come back and chat about it when we pay a few bills for tom and tommy o'brien we'll be right back folks steve rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago and the student has now become the master Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I put a chart up here of the crude oil. We talked about that just a few minutes ago, but I covered it in the video uh, this morning. The key part here is you notice the low that we made, <clears throat> excuse me, down here on Thursday, and then we had the rally up, and you'll see last night being an hourly chart, you see it backed off for a few hours, hitting the same bottom in here. What I was watching for at that time was to see if that bottom was going to be a 382, and as you can see, it hit it spot on, and now – it looks like we're heading up to this 83.53. Folks, I talk about 382s here all the time, but let me talk about here in context that even uh, a disbeliever will take a look at it. This is one of the most actively traded commodities in the whole world. I mean world, W-O-R-L-D. This is corn, okay? Here was the high in the uh, report before the report came out. Everybody thought it was much better than it was. And then when they started to read it, they said, oh, dear God in heaven. All it went down to 7-11. Look at the rally last night, folks. It stopped exactly at the 382 retracement at 423 a bushel. Now, start paying attention to that, folks. It's a very good index to look at as far as a number, and it's quite, quite important. If we look at it in context of the S&P, we'll get this up here. Here's where we were on Friday. I wanted to bring these to your attention because uh, we've had some big moves here. There's where we were here on Friday. We had this final move right here. When the report came out, I'm just going to clean some of these out here so we can take a look at it. And you'll notice here the last one we had took us up to this last high that we made, which was right up there at uh, 90 and we got to uh, got to 87 missed the old high here by half a point but look what happened here last night folks last night the market backed off from this 85 level into friday and then sunday night you can see we rallied up to the 382 then we came down to a perfect 61 percent retracement right there okay and then what we do we went right back and touched the same 382 number 55.39, and now we've made a lower low, and we make a lower low, we always want to go back and find out what that new number will be. So if you go down from your high down to your low, there it did, went right up to it again. So as long as we don't get much above 55.40, this has got a chance to sell off a little bit longer. Now, the one thing you want to check is because we got down to 505, which means 
we took out the lows of the last couple of weeks and didn't go anywhere. I mean, that, that in itself is a good idea. But remember, this market is still bullish, so it's rallying a bit. So the thing you want to do is move this over to get your last low in here so that you can see if that number that we hit today was a really, really important number. So as you can see, just cleaning out some of these, we'll just get all of them together. And you'll look that we had a major re uh, retracement right here. We had a major retracement right here. We'll take this first one. Let's just draw it up to get up to see where we are. And there's where we are right now. We're going to take this first one right here to see what that, oh, this was even better. Look how many days this was here. Oh, my goodness. This was here for five days, folks. So that's a really important one. Let's see if that was a 382 off of the low that we made back here. So you mark that in. Hasn't reached it yet, but this is what you want to be watching for is 14, excuse me, 54.91. That's down 40 handles from where we are right now. That would be a very interesting one because it's setting right on that number. Why do we think that's important? All we have to do is to go over and take a look at the Dow Jones E-mini. And we're going to come up here right now and do that. This is a smaller time frame, but we're going to go to the hourly. And as you can see, I've already drawn this in for you today. The low on Friday, right before the close, right before the close, went in right here at the exact 382 to the exact tick at 39,278. That was the low. And you can see from that time, we had a heck of a rally. Moving this around, we'll go back to the 13 minutes so you can see it clearly. This morning, we had the explosive rally to the upside. Moving it around like that, you'll see that's exactly what we did. We went right up to that old 78% level off of a high back in here. And you'll see it. That's exactly where we were. So we'll move this over so that you'll be able to see it. And there it is. Uh, right. Well, it's actually between. Yeah, it didn't draw it right. It's a little above the 618. It probably comes in at, at around uh, 707. It misses it by... Uh, this misses it by 30 points. It didn't even take out the high of last Thursday, which was a surprise. And then on this way back here this morning, we've been rallying for uh, well over uh, three and a half hours here. And all we've been able to do is to go right up to the guess what? There it is right there, your 382 retracement. So this may mean something that we could be looking at a market that might be ready to turn over and come down for half a day, a quarter of a day. But... Everything is still bullish. Now, we're going to quickly come over and take a look here uh, at the uh, gold market because uh, we've been, we still think we're heading lower in the gold. This is where we were here the last few days. I want to get this up and show you what we're watching. Do, looking at the same thing, we want to be watching for that, uh, you know, move, movement down to this level. Now, what we were watching with the video last night was this uh this larger A, B, C, D pattern right here, A, B, C, D, that took us down to 23, uh, 23. That's the one, or 23, 25. That's the one we were looking for to be a buy. It only got to 23, 29. And if you looked at that, you can see that there was also another A, B, C, D right on top of that. There it is right there. There's your A, B. There's your C, D. Comes right there at the money. Didn't take out the low from Sunday night. And it rallied, and look at the rally, exactly a one, three, five pattern, just as pretty as can be. And if you check the ratios just for kicks and giggles, from your high back here to your low, it comes in exactly almost to the 61% retracement, 78% of this one, and now it's all starting uh, to move uh, to the downside. Now, on a human interest story, you're going to have to like this. My good friend John Jameson over there at the Isle of Man, his favorite hobby is is matching the reporters' names with the coverage of what they're looking at. And there was a firing squad in Tehran uh, over the weekend, and it was covered by a reporter by the name of Michelle Trigger. <laughs> You can't make that up. Anyway, that's uh, that's what happened. Uh, of course, they do things differently over there, but the fact that the name of the reporter was triggered, she was covering a uh, firing squad. Is uh, rather, You should see the list of the stuff that he has, folks. Some of them are so funny, it makes you fall off a chair. I mean, it's just really amazing. All right, now let's go back here, and let's talk about soybean meal, because I think we're getting close in soybean meal. Let's correct this for just a second here. 
correct is we're going to cover some currencies too folks so just bear with me and i'll do i will do apple again and let's just move this over here uh here's what i want to get is the soybean meal let's get the oh i have to do wheat too because wheat was the one that we thought if the market was going to rally it would be the wheat so there is a soybean meal it's got to be there's december meal as you can see we've had a uh, big move uh to the downside here and uh, we've completed the last ABCD folks here. Just want to give you folks because I took a shot on the long side of this. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg right here. And that came in right here at 31. So I bought it with a $5 stop and that's what I'm looking at. It rallied all the way up to 34, but that was not very much. We'll be right back and cover that in just a moment. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets. With updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers, whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I want to uh, go through the soybean meal here again. You'll notice here that we made the big ABCD to the downside. 
you'll see the rally today. Uh, there was the low, there was the high, rallied uh, five dollars off the bottom, 500 bucks. It's trading right now just about a dollar higher than what we bought it for. But anyway, as you look at that, oh, just a second, get this up here, put this in. It made that 382 retracement. Now, if we can get that above there, this could be a significant bottom. That's pretty much what I would, oh, what I would be looking for uh, here in the soybean meal. Okay, now let me explain to you what's happening to these grains and why. I'm going to bring up the report to show you how, what a surprise it was. This is where we were with corn on Friday. They were expecting um, the expectation of acres coming in was 1 million acres more than expected. Boy, folks, that is a huge amount. Let me tell you that. But look at the stocks, folks. There was 120 million bushels over what they thought they had for, for, uh, for, for stock. And that's why the, the coin market dropped 45 cents. And now, you know, I thought it would drop a lot more than that, given the fact it hasn't been below $4, but only twice over the last seven or eight years. And this might be one of those years, but that's the reasoning behind it. This was the first one that they saw was the acres. And then, then when this one came out about five or 10 minutes later, that's when the market went from 443 to 394 in the December corn. Now we're trading roughly at uh, 419 as we look at it there. I have got I've got, I have not gone through uh, a complete season without at least two or three scares for um, weather. And we've got one now coming up out of the Gulf with the hurricane that's coming across the uh, uh, Caribbean. It's supposed to come into the Yucatan Peninsula down below here in, in Tucson. And then that all that water starts coming in up through the uh, Midwest sometime in the next eight or nine days we'll see if that happens whether it means anything to the crop or not i don't know it doesn't really make that much difference to me as long as these prices don't go collapsing to the downside like uh, like corn has collapsed okay so that's what i'm that's what i'm paying attention to right here what i mentioned in the letter uh, was very very important from my perspective because what we have going on in treasury bonds and treasury notes. I'm going to get the treasury notes up here because that's a larger market. Just one second here. I'm going to put the weekly up so you'll be able to see where we are. We've been bearish just for quite some time for the reasons you already know. And you can see here, this was the ABCD pattern. There was a 61% retracement. And look at this, how we're coming to the downside, folks. This is not a good thing. It really is. Remember, I, I said to watch those numbers in the treasury bonds and let's just double check to see how we are on those since we're very very close and we're at 02 now the number we're going to be looking at here is at uh 29 that's what that's the that's the 61 percent retracement and the 786 is right below it here at 115.25 so that's what you want to watch if we can hold that uh, this is the AI program. We don't need to. Let me get this on a different scale so we can not have to pay attention to that. See, as long as we don't get, um, you know, below this level down in here, it's got a chance. That's really what you're saying. And you can see here it's making, it's ratcheting its way down nicely. Remember, th this is a huge market, folks. I mean, big time, huge. Look at this, the sell-off here. You know, boom, and the rally today, absolutely, you know, very, very little. We had this earlier in the morning. And that didn't go anywhere than the, than, than the other 382 from way back here. So that tells you that this market is in trouble. There's a reason for the trouble, folks, and that is they borrowed money. And we borrowed our GDP to ratio, to GDP ratio to debt is 132%. Do you know, anybody take a guess what the Japanese debt to uh, yield ratio is? Hello, operator, 500%. Now, there's where the problem lies is in Japan, because if they start selling bonds to, you know, to get rid of these interests and stuff, then, oh, dear, could be very interesting. How can anybody? Well, that's none of my business, and that's politics, and so I'm going to stand aside. Let's move over here and take a look at the U.S. dollar now, since we're talking about money. We'll get this up here. We have had some really good action in the uh, U.S. dollar. And it should be making an ABCD up here today, folks. Let's get this daily chart up here and see if it's in fact doing that. And there's what, well, we did it the other day. It made the ABCD and then it's come down here today 
Uh, let's see, our low today came in at 105.10, and let's just check and see if that happens to be a 382 off of the last low that we made right back here. This was the major low. Let's check it first. And it didn't get to that one, so we'll check the secondary low. Now, this looking like it might hit it. I don't know. Oh, boy, that's pretty close. Well, misses it by, whoa, this, it's off by a tick. Yeah, it's pretty much hit it exactly right on the bottom, 105.06. Now, if that's the case, that means when that was happening, the euro, hello operator, had to be making a high. And let's check and see what the euro was doing at that high today when that was occurring. All right, we'll get this up here, and there is the euro. And we're going to look at this on an hourly and get it up here and see if it was making a high right there. So let's see if that was right on the money. Move it over, 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 over. Now that should be in the room. That should be just about at a 382, I would think. So let's just clean this out. Boy, it sure looks close. There's your high right here. There's your low right here. And uh, by golly, the 382 is 107.62, and we went as high as 107.75, missed it by 13 pips, and then boom, down we came. So that's pretty much it. Let's see. This looks like it was about 50% or more. Uh, well, that was almost an exact 61% retracement off of that one. So that's what was making that U.S. dollar turn was the fact this was this rally was finishing either there or there, and then, of course, it's had a move down. The last time we had a big move like that was back in here, and it looks like this was the largest rally we've had in quite a while. And if we look at that, you'll see that came right within the parameters of uh, of that rally right there. So looks like we're heading down now in the euro, i.e. up in the U.S. dollar, at least from a uh, very, very short-term standpoint. Now, someone's asked me to take a look at a couple of stocks, and the first, of course, would have to be none other than Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, and who's a very good friend of Mr. Rabbit, who carries the material. Hold on a second here, and we'll be looking at it right here. Apple starts with an A, correct? There it is. Get Apple on a daily, and we'll, well, let's do 60 minutes. That'll tell us where we are. Ah, we're making a new high from the early morning high, which is good. We're still under our high from back here, so... This was our low this morning, a pretty good sell-off. We stopped exactly at the 61% retracement, and look what we've done. Looking at this on the daily, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market 
giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I have this chart of Tesla up here. Someone asked me, why don't I remove this? Well, folks, I don't trade stocks, so I wasn't really concerned about it, but this is correct. Once this is taken this low out, it's no longer a valid pattern. You got to get rid of that because that means we're going to go higher. And as you can see, that's what's been happening here. We've been moving higher ever since it took out this high right here. And we're continuing to do that. So just looking at it on a little bit of a short term basis here, this is going back here over the last uh, couple of months. We can see that we'd be looking at a potential for Tesla to get all the way up to this level uh, right up in here. Uh, right about there, which is up about another $14 where we're looking at. You can see the 1.618 expansion of that move comes in at 218. We're at 209 right now. Frankly, I I don't, uh, I'm not going to say anything about the cars because I don't know enough about them to even make an evaluation, but that's what we're watching. Now, I said in the video last night that these grain markets someday will, will, will turn, but the one to watch, if it's going to turn, Will be the one that had been the strongest before the turn and that was the wheat and boy we had a big correction as we all know we'll just look at the december wheat uh, well let's look at july because that's the, the spot month this will be i think they put this up as september i'm not mistaken i know they put up july wheat that's good uh, i see it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, well i've got a i've got to refresh it here for today and it's not even refreshing because it's so darn thing let's just go to the december which is my favorite one anyway. So that's just right under it. And there it is right there. We'll put this up the hourly chart. As you can see here, we've had a pretty good run here. Uh, this was the report uh, on Friday. You see the market only backed off to the 61% retracement. We'll draw that in. That told you that that was your first sign that it was doing uh, relatively well as far as support. Uh, it stopped right below it. And then today, uh, last night, we did the same thing. We came and we stopped just about exactly at the 61% retracement. Now remember, this is when the soybeans and the corn and the meal were getting creamed. This actually held up pretty good. And you can see we've had a move from 94 up to 12. It's moved over $20 uh, a bushel in that, for 20 cents per bushel, Larry, let's try that. 20 cents per bushel during that time, giving it an A, B, C, D pattern up into this level. Uh, right up here. Now, the beeper hasn't gone off yet, so if you will bear with me, I want to see what's happening with the crude oil because crude oil is a very nice pattern, and I always like to see if there's a chance you could make a couple of bucks. So I want to see if it's going to get to that level. There it is right there. I do all the ABCDs, folks, so there's what I'm looking at, 83.54. Now, look, looking at this, I mean, this is an hourly chart. But you've got another pattern that is right here. So I need to draw that one in to see if maybe I've missed this. And because that's pretty close between the high, which was 37 and 53, just only uh, $180. So that's close. So we want to draw this ABCD in 
to see. I just don't understand why people don't spend more time with ABCD because uh, the ABCD comes right here at the 1.618 at 8309, but we went through that quite a bit. So this is what I'm still looking at for it to get to that level. So 83.53 is the number that I'm looking at. I wouldn't risk more than 50 pips on that. So the stop would be 84.03 is what I would be watching uh, as we look at that. The one to pay attention to today, folks, is the big daddy rabbit. And that's this one right here, the Treasury bonds. Let's get this up here in the long-term weekly. And you can see, oh, this is the old, uh, this is the September, but you can see here, that uh, this is not looking good if we get below these levels that I pointed out here, which comes in at 115.29. There it is, 115.29. We start getting below that, below 115.24. You're going to be looking at a three drive pattern here in the Treasury bonds down about this level. There would be your drive one right here. There's drive two right here. And drive three is going to take you down to either this level or this level. We'll take this one first. Boy, this will be taking out that April low, folks. Oh, shut the front door. This is a bearish chart, folks. L l let me just get this up here. Let's, well, the, do, you, there's the weekly. Let's just show you how bad this thing, oh, because it's this is September. It doesn't have all the, uh, I got to do it. I got to put, uh, put the continuation in so you can see how negative this thing possibly could be and it already is it's possibly is not even in the it's already doing it okay now look see this is the rallies that we've had now remember folks where we're coming from you see why this could be so bearish are you kidding me this it gapped down on, on the monday and this is terrible did it leave a gap let's just double check come on no it didn't the low on friday was 117.14 the high today 117.18 so it did fill the gap by just a little bit but you can see it's still heading down this means you could be looking at another ABCD down here at 106 in this and if the Japanese decide to sell or Chinese sell the few bonds they have left or something else happens you know everybody's talking about the you know the um, dropping in interest rates it ain't going to make any difference folks rates are going to higher these bonds have to be you know, paid off that interest. One trillion dollars, just about a little under what our, a little over what our federal uh, uh, our, our defense budget is. That That's just for bonds and notes. Shut the front door and raise the rent. That's a lot of moolah, as they say in the trade. Okay, let's move on here. One other question about another stock, which happens to be, we'll get up here, J.P. Morgan, and uh, where, where are we at here? H I J P Morgan right here. We get the old daily up on this. Well, that's the weekly. What's made a new high in the weekly? Let's see how it's doing on the daily. Looks like it's doing pretty good, actually. Let's get the daily chart up here. And is it making a new high today? It certainly did. There it is. There's your J P Morgan making a new high today at the 1.27 expansion number of the old high. And that means it's nothing bearish about this one. But we're getting close because looking at this on a little bit smaller time, a well, larger time frame weekly. I don't trade weeklies, but this is what we're looking at here. We could be looking at easy. There's your drive one. There's drive two. And drive three is out into the future here. And uh, the market side, this is actually holding up pretty well. That would come in at 110. That's up four bucks from where it is right now. But we have taken out the highs of May 20th. So that's a sign that that market is still, you know, very strong and moving, moving to the upside. Okay, let's move this out, get this out of the way. And we'll see what we've got going here uh, with our NASDAQ is now trading below the 382 folks that came in at uh, one or 20,002. And now you can see we're trading a little bit uh, below that there's your ABCD, your 382 is right there at uh, 20. Uh, 08, the high has been 20, <clears throat> 20, 25. So that's what we're at. Let's take a look here and see what the clock on the wall says today. And uh, tomorrow, our guest should be uh, Grace Morris of Astro Economics out of Florida. First class act, folks. She's one of the best. Hopefully, we'll have her on the line on Friday. Uh, we are going to have uh, 
Shane Smolian will be our guest, and that'll be a uh, very, very lot of fun, I think. And of course, we have that new moon on that day, which will be uh, quite, uh, quite interesting. So. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities and trader psychology when one string of the web is pulled it has a ripple effect across the broader market this is where opportunity lies but how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities luckily you don't have to worry about that as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter market insights Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. Um, I want to mention to you about the trading hours here coming into the holiday. We close early. We close uh, two hours early. We close at 2 o'clock uh, on the um, stock exchange on Wednesday, the day before the holiday. It's closed on the holiday. I uh, do not believe Globex is open uh, until uh, afternoon of the 4th. That would be Thursday afternoon at around 3 p.m. Tucson time, 6 p.m. New York time. It'll open. And then on Friday, Again, it's a it's a it's a quiet day, and folks, believe me, it is one of the quietest days of the year because most people don't come in for that half day at the stock exchange. That's how it used to be. So that'll be a very very light volume day, and don't forget that the day before a holiday, which is Wednesday, is usually a positive close. That works about 75% of the time. The holidays on the fourth. The trading day is on the 3rd, so the odds of it clo closing up on the 3rd is quite positive. Better than 3 out of 4 chances, that's what it does. The day after, Friday, those statistics are gone and you got new stuff coming in, so don't get wrapped yourself up in it. So do something for your neighbors, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And I had to put my very, very dearest friend into a home this morning, oh, actually Friday. 
And uh, it was very, very sad, but Alzheimer has got to him. He just went in from stage five to stage six. And boy, I tell you folks, that's something that I'm not going to look forward to. And if it comes close, I got to figure my alternatives. <laughs> anyway, that's life, I guess. Please do something for your neighbors, folks. You know, not everybody has it easy like most people do that I know anyway. But, you know, that's just my my background and what I know. All right. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Hopefully our guests will be uh, Grace Morris of Astro Economics. Friday will be Shane Smullyan, the Wolf Trader. We'll be back. Thank you very much, folks. Mm -hmm.